Hello, everyone, and welcome to MIC TV. Um, today, we're going to be discussing the five reasons you should have a mentor. Um, I'm your host, Greg Ferriola, along with my partner, TJ Pearson. Now, if this is your first time joining us, TJ and I would both like to welcome you to the MIC community. Um, please drop your name in the chat, say hi, give us links to where you um, your all your music presence lies so we can check you out and follow you and support you in any way that we can. Um, we love meeting new musicians and listening to new music, so please um, use this as an avenue to kind of connect with us. Um, all right, also too, before we get started, if you ever are in need of anything, you can find us at our website. Um, www.musicianindiecoalition.com. Um, TJ will drop that link into the chats. Um, when you have some time, check it out. It's got some good resources there for musicians. Um, and you can also see all the different ways that we can work together should you be interested in getting help with your music career. All right, now without any further ado, um, let's um, dive into today's topic, which again is the five reasons you should have a mentor. Um, now, if you're watching this, chances are your goal is to become a professional musician. Um, and whether you're just starting out um, or pursuing your music career for you know a while, you're probably aware that building a full-time music career is a complex process that involves a ton of work. Um, but like any complex process, there are steps that every artist and band should follow when developing their career. However, most artists and bands are completely unaware of what those steps actually are. Um, yet the fact, you know, this fact doesn't discourage most musicians um, from, from pursuing their career. In fact, it's a direct opposite. You know, most musicians are so passionate about music and what they're doing creatively that they dive right in, throw caution to the wind and let their passion for music kind of drive them where they want to go. However, without a plan um, that allows them to make steady progress in their career, that passion and drive eventually burns out. Um, and leaves most musicians feeling either lost or stuck um, in their career. Now, if you are a musician or, or someone that wanted to, let's say, become a doctor, teacher, or even an athlete, there are clear steps and guidelines for pursuing those professions. And you'd be required to follow whatever those were to become successful in those fields. Why? Um, because you're pursuing a job. Um, and to get a job, you you need essentially someone to hire you. And if the person hiring you says that you need to be a college graduate and have X years of experience, then that's what you need to do or have um, if you wanna get that kind of a job. Um, and, you know, and at the end of the day, you know, it's the people in the day, daily lives of the, you know, the world out there accept all those professions as a fact. Like, hey, I need to have that on my resume to do that. It just, you know, it's a common thing. People accept it as a thing that needs to be done. However, for musicians, there are no such requirements because there's no one specifically hiring you to be a professional musician. Um, so those kind of things don't exist. Um, now, if you are pursuing a music career, this dynamic, you know, doesn't exist because again, you know, record labels aren't looking for, you know, um, just people like, hey, we're looking for the newest artist of the year. That's, that's not what happens. Um, they're looking for proven acts that are established and things of that nature. So no matter what you plan on doing with your career, Overall, your goal has to be to build your career first and then go through the process of, you know, if you want to get signed by a label, looking to them to see what they can do to kind of expedite or um, enhance what you're doing. Um, so in general, the point that I'm, you know, I'm essentially trying to make here is when you're kind of going through this process is that, you know, musicians need to find some sort of a guideline or path to kind of get them from where they are to where they want to be. Um, and there's so many different sources out there um, that kind of tell you, hey, you should do this, or hey, you should do that, or hey, this is the right route. Um, but it's, you know, without any kind of fixed program like there are for becoming a doctor or anything like that, it can be very confusing and very daunting. Um, now, if you accept the idea that what you're doing when you're pursuing a music career is building a business, um, and that you need to have, and it would be valuable for you to have a fixed step in, to creating your career, um, then you know your process will be a lot easier because most musicians won't do that. They'll think, "Hey, I want to get discovered. This is this is I'm just going to make great music and hope for everything to happen." Um, if you kind of go that route, you're going to hit a wall, guarantee it, um, because it just happens to everybody. And then you're going to need to figure out, like, "Hey, what do I do next?" Um, so if you can accept that now without going through that very painful process, then you're going to be way ahead of the crap. And at the end of the day, if you can figure out and learn what the steps are for building a music career, at least when you're going through all this 
process, you'll be able to make real progress in your career instead of doing something wrong for a really long time and then realizing, hey, this isn't working. What do I do now? Um, which is what, again, most musicians do. Um, now, when it, most musicians do pursue a career, what do they do? The first thing they wind up doing when pursuing a music career is they essentially will mimic the artists that have come before them. This has been this, the proven um, method for the longest time. Um, but this approach has two flaws. Um, first, what works for one artist might not work for you because you as an artist are unique. And that means that you are gonna need a unique plan that will fit your specific needs to become successful. And the second thing is, is when they're looking at other indie artists and things of that nature, you know, most artists and bands fail. So if you're trying to copy what someone is doing and they aren't actually succeeding or they only look like they're succeeding online because they have a large following or a large followers on, on social media, you know, you could be setting yourself up for disaster. So you don't wanna kind of go that route either. Um, so if you don't know how to build a professional career, the question really comes down to it. What do you do? Well, you have two options. Um, you can either teach yourself how to build your career, um, or you can work with a mentor, um, that can guide you through that process. Um, now TJ and I, even though we're business coaches, we are very big believing, big believers in self-teaching, um, because it's something that we've had to do throughout our careers and it's really a useful skill to have. Um, but there are pros and cons that go along with teaching yourself something. Um, some pros um, are that you can do it alone and it's typically free, which is great when you're kind of building a music career. Um, but the drawbacks are that it takes a lot of time. There's a lot of trial and error involved. Um, it takes a lot longer and you aren't sure if the techniques you're using are even the best ones to use. So for small tasks, I think self-teaching is fine. Um, but for more complicated tasks, um, you should really seek professional guidance because it's the best way to make sure that you're doing it right. Um, and when I say professional guidance, I don't mean YouTube videos um, because YouTube videos that are even ones that are taught by professionals only are providing you with a small part of what you need to know because their end goal is to get you to sell whatever program they're selling or whatever it is that they make money doing. Um, which you know is problematic if you're relying on that advice to do something for your career. Um, the other issue with YouTube videos are there's no overall structure or strategy, which leaves you um, the task of having to figure out um, what you should be working on when you are going through the process of building your career. One second, I have really loud noise outside my window, so I wanna make sure that it is not coming through. All right. All right, I'm back. Landscaper's coming by at four o'clock during a live stream. It's just what happens when you're going live. <laughs> anyway, um, and so anyway, so the order in which that you go through the process of building a career is important. So following random YouTube videos to kind of help you with whatever obstacle you've currently jumped into is, is fine to some extent, but you need to have an overall plan and an overall structure because the order again in which you do things is really important. For example, if you were to release an album before you created your electronic press kit, then you have a hard time dealing with press should any come up when you go to release your music. Um, or if you release your music and don't register it um, with the proper agencies, you're not going to be protected through copyright and you're not gonna be able to collect all your performance royalties and things of that nature. Um, and then you can leave yourself actually open to copyright infringement. Um, and to make the point even more clear, um, if you you went to go play a show before you even learn how to play, you know, you run into a big problem. So there is an absolute order and it's important the order in which you do things because it's just more efficient. Um, if you do things the right way the first time, instead of making mistakes as you kind of go, not that mistakes aren't part of the process. It is, but there's, you're going to make more than enough mistakes if you follow the right guidelines because you have to learn still what makes you successful. Um, but overall, you, you need to have some sort of structure when you move forward with things, um, which is why you should seek guidance. Now, um, that brings us back to our main topic today about the re five reasons you should have a mentor. And here they are. So the first reason you should have a mentor is they give you practical advice and guidance. Um, as you work towards becoming a professional artist or band, um, it's important to have a mentor because it allows you to get guidance in areas where you have no experience and no knowledge. I mean, why go through the process of teaching yourself something if you can learn from someone that has years of experience um, and knows the best, 
best path for you to follow. Um, most successful people have mentors or coaches. Professional athletes have coaches, um, as do pro singers. Um, even CEOs of companies are known to work with coaches. Um, even TJ and I, you know, we are business coaches, but we have a business coach um, for Musician Indie Coalition that guides us um, on how to sell online courses and teaches us with on things like visibility. And it has saved us a tremendous amount of time and effort from trying to figure it out on our own. Um, so it's really, truly worth it. Um, now, the second reason um, is that mentors help you create strategies for developing your career. Now, when you go through the process of developing your career, TJ and I have found there are three main steps. Um, first is the planning and setup phase where you plan out your career and set up things like your online channels. Um, then there's the launch phase where you go live and begin doing things like releasing music, building your audience and developing your revenue streams. Well, once you complete the planning and setup phase, that is when the real work begins because then you begin learning about the specific things that will make you successful. The things that will be completely unique to you um, and your audience and your career. Um, needless to say, this is the phase that requires a lot of experimentation and strategy. Um, and it's not something that you should go through alone. Um, a mentor can provide you with techniques for overcoming some of the obstacles that will stand in your way while going through this process, which will save you time and protect you from making any career ending mistakes. Um, and it's something that you should really take advantage of should you have access to a mentor that can guide you through this process. Now, the third reason is they can provide you with contacts. Um, as you go through your career, you're most likely going to need to connect with people um, such as recording engineers, photographers, lawyers, and the list will go on and on and on. Um, and your mentor can hopefully connect you with some people that will be able to help you in those areas, um, which is important because the industry is filled with a lot of not trustworthy people. Um, and you want to make sure that when you're working with someone, um, that you have the opportunity um, to know that, okay, hey, this person I can at least trust, they've been vetted by so-and-so and I trust what they're doing. Um, my mentor had done that for me when I was working with her and it does make you feel more secure when you're moving forward with your career in a situation where you're already kind of feeling insecure about whatever it is that you're doing. Knowing that you're working with someone that at least trustworthy is a good thing. Um, now, reason four that you should work with a mentor is they help you identify your goals and give you a sense of direction. Um, with so many tasks to accomplish when building your career, it's easy to get scattered and lose direction because there's just so many things you want to focus on. You feel like everything needs to be done right away. What's, what do I do? Do I work on this? Do I work on that? Oh, I need to do this. I mean, it's really can be very overwhelming. Um, and a mentor can kind of get you back on track and keep you focused in both your short term and long term goals. They can say, hey, this can wait till later. This is what you need to work on now because if you do this now, it will impact these other things in the future. And when you're going through this by yourself, you might not be able to clearly see that. Um, and with their experience, they'll be able to also kind of tell you about the things that maybe you aren't even aware of that you're, that's gonna be popping up when you do a certain task. So it's important. Um, and the final reason, reason five, is they provide you with encouragement and support. And this is extremely important. Um, musicians go through a lot of mental highs and lows throughout their career. Um, and to be successful, it's important to maintain a positive mindset. Um, and a mentor will provide you with encouragement and support, um, which are two things aspiring artists really need to maintain their focus and their mental positivity. Um, but overall, a mentor simply saves you time and makes your job easier. Um, so when it comes to selecting a mentor, you should select someone that has expert knowledge and with whom you feel comfortable. Um, and also before hiring any mentor, you want to always get a recommendation from someone you trust and ask or ask for references if you are just meeting them cold for the first time. Um, again, my music mentor and record literally changed the entire course of my life. Um, her influence is one of the main reasons I work helping musicians. She helped me get my job working for Nile back in the day. Um, and she guided me through a lot of things in my life and kind of gave me nudges when I needed to to kind of move forward. And it was completely invaluable. I can't even stress it. I don't, I don't even know where my life literally would be if I had not met Anne. Um, and my advice to you then is because of all those things is to work and find a music mentor. And yes, you can look at that as a shameless plug because again, myself and TJ are both um, music mentors that guide artists and bands through the process of developing their career. Um, but it doesn't make what we're saying any less true. Um, professional guidance is extremely important. And for the record, 
you know, when teaching that I do work people, we never hard sell anyone, you know, with our program or, the, you know, any of the coaching stuff that we do. Um, and we believe that it's, you know, if anyone wants help, they're going to ask us for it. Um, and, you know, artists that, and bands that do ask us for it, you know, we will sit down with them. We'll provide them a free one hour consultation to sit down and go over, ask all the questions they want with no obligation to work with us. Um, and just to see if, if it's a good fit, like we might not want to work with them. They might not feel like, you know, that we have good chemistry. So it's important to kind of go through that, that process and really meet and sit down and find someone you feel comfortable with. Um, and then, you know, again, if they want to sign up and work with us and we all feel it's a good idea, then we move forward with it. But again, like who wants to put someone in a position where it's a hard sell? Um, it's really uncomfortable. It just sucks. Like, you know, TJ and I both been in situations where someone's really trying to hard sell us on a, on a software or something that, that we need for the label. And it's just like, it's just gross. And so what TJ and I are very against that. And again, I'm not saying that you know, because I'm trying to get you into our program. I'm saying that because there are a lot of people like that in the industry. So if you sit down with a music mentor or someone else and they're hard selling you and making you push you or trying to push you into signing on the, on the dotted line in a meeting, they're probably not the right person for you. Um, if people, someone really truly wants to work with you and they have good intentions, they'll let you take your time. They'll let you think about it. Um, and that's what you really want when you're making these kind of connections in the industry. Um, so at the end of the day, you know, when it comes time for you to select a mentor, should you choose to do that, just find someone that you're comfortable with, um, that you can open up towards, that you know that they're treating you fairly, um, and you know you should be in good shape. And again, make sure that they have references because even them just being nice isn't enough. They need to have you know some experience actually working in the industry and working with musicians. Um, it shouldn't be just something that, where they kind of work off the cuff. There are a lot of coaches out there that will do that and not have an actual strategy. They're just going to give you some tips and make you feel good. And, you know, that might work to a certain extent, but you know, if they, if they don't have an overall strategy that will help you build your career, probably not what you're looking for. Um, and a lot of people online, you'll see them make outlandish claims. Hey, I'll get you 10,000 followers in a couple of weeks. Again, stay away from all that kind of stuff. It's just not the way that the industry works. If, your mentor isn't promising you a lot of hard work <laughs> and a lot of ups and downs, <clears throat> then they're lying to you because it's just not the way any building any business works. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of time. It's a lot of energy, but it's worth it because you're building a career for yourself that you're truly going to love and that you want. Um, anyway, that's my two cents on it. Um, anyway, so if you do seek professional help, um, always again, use caution and never work with anyone outside of your budget, no matter what they promise you. Um, I've known people too, that have taken out loans to work with other people and like, not, not worth it. Don't do that. Um, there are people within your budget that can help you. Um, like myself and TJ again, another shameless plug, but I can't help it. All right. Anyway. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, I, I think that was great. And then just to add, um, to like, I think the, the support and guidance bit of it is like, the the mental the mental you know um state that you need to stay positive to make this work it's like it's so true and having a mentor just a lot like there's so much experimentation that goes on in making a music career and a lot of what's going to make you successful is finding out what doesn't work and uh it's just nice to have somebody there telling you that all these failed experiments quote unquote failed are for a reason, you know, and you're not just sitting there like, am I wasting my time and, and failing at what I th think I'm succeeding in for no reason. And, you know, it's just, it's, it is nice to know that when, when someone's telling you, this is what works, you just got to trust the process just to be able to kind of like, you know, yeah. wrap yourself in that blanket because it's, it's important to, uh, to, to try and you're going to fail and, or, or things that you think are going to happen, you know, you do X and Y happens it's just nice to know that someone has a, has a path for you and, you know, everything you're doing is for the, the you know, the end purpose of, of, you know, becoming a, an independent, successful uh, person yeah. who works for yourself, you know, an, an independent musician. So, yeah. And another, another good point here too, is like, you know, when you do work with a mentor, it's not even about them telling you what to do. Cause you know, they shouldn't tell you what to do. They, you know, when we work with our artists, it's just like, we give them options. We lay them all out. These are what, this is what is available to you that you can do this. You can go this route. You can go this route. 
and then they choose because that's what being a business owner is. It's about making the decisions. Um, but it's good to have someone to guide you on what the safe decisions are um, and let you know the risks that are getting involved when you're kind of doing that. So it's like even today we were talking with one of our artists and they were considering doing like advertising and whatnot. And we're just like, you can go that route. Um, here are the drawbacks for doing advertising and the problems with it. If your result is that you want to get X, Y, and Z, you can also do this. You can also try this, or you can try this, this, and this. And, you know, they make their decision. You know, they can they can try that out and, you know, go the that route, or they can try the other options that we gave them. Um, but at the end of the day, it's like if you are being, you know, told something by a friend or whatever, hey, you should, you should do advertising, or you, hey, you should do this, and you really don't know what else to do, you're just going to jump on the bandwagon and do that because what else are you going to do? You have no idea. Um, so a lot of people will just kind of sign on for whatever weird recommendation or odd recommendation they get, which, you know, if it's not, you know, a professional telling you that could be very strongly the wrong thing to do. Um, and you can wind up making the same mistake as your artist friend or, you know, whoever told you, you know, or gave you the advice. Yep. I was, I was attribute like advice like that to like, I say like when, when you go on vacation and you talk to your friends and you're like, Hey, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to France or whatever. And they give you, they're like, Oh, you have to do this. You have to do this. You have to do this. That's what they did. You know, they're only telling you, they're not t giving you all the options that they didn't take. They're just, they're just explaining what their trip was. So, you know, sometimes people give advice just because it's what they did, not even because it worked or was the best thing to do or whatever. So you always have to kind of take that with a grain of salt. I think another, um, Another thing we do nicely as, as, as coaches and a good mentor should do is like, we always kind of level set and, and say like, why, you know, why are you doing this? Like, what is the purpose of what you're trying to do? Like, what, what is your end goal here? And, and because a lot of times musicians are just go, 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 you know, you do this because it's expected of you, you know, you fill up, fill the calendar with shows, you, you know, release an album, you know, you spend money in the studio and release an album. It's just like, what what are you trying to accomplish by doing that? And then kind of when you, when you put it that way, they always kind of sit back and be like, okay, I want to do this. So you, you'd be like, okay, well then you can do that without spending a lot of money, you know, in this creative way or that creative way. So yeah, again, providing options is, is always good. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's weird how it all kind of works out too. Cause again, like I said, like I've had a music mentor before, um, TJ and I work with a business coach, but I also recently in under the last like several months, I got a life coach, which is something I was like, eh, but my sister was kind of pushing me into doing, cause she's like, you're just at a point where you need help in your personal life as well, because it's bleeding over into everything else that you do. And there's a lot of times we're all like, have a session ready to go. And I don't have anything to talk about. I'm like, I'm like, I don't even know why I'm doing this for I, I feel fine. Everything's good. Um, and I'll just kind of sit there and rattle off some stuff that's kind of going on. But like through those conversations, like they'll pick out and be like, you're saying this, but what I'm hearing is this, this, and this. And all of a sudden I'm like, it, it'll you know stir something in me. I'm just like, oh, you're right. I am kind of doing that. And that is kind of been my problem lately. And like next thing I'll know, I automatically found things that I needed to talk about that I didn't realize it. Um, and again, when someone is kind of listening to you, what your ideas are and what you're working on and what you're going through um, from an objective point of view where they have no emotional kind of entanglement in what's kind of going on, it's easier for them to see what is actually going on and kind of point it out to you so that you're able to kind of look at it with untainted eyes. And that's a really valuable thing to have access to. Um, because when you're in a situation and you're working and you're doing whatever you're doing with your music career, it's very easy to kind of lose sight of it. It's like writing a song. Like, you know, when I be writing something and you hear something, you hear that song over and over and over again by yourself. So after a while, it's, it's really kind of hard to hear. Like, did I make the right mix? Did I do that? Because you've listened to it yourself so many times. Like having that outside perspective from a fan or a friend or another musician really can kind of help be like, oh, hey, you, you need to raise this level here or you need to probably do this here or I think you're missing this here. Like outside perspectives are important. So getting professional help, you know, is equally as important. Um, and for those of you out there that, again, want to, are interested in signing a record deal, why do you want to do that for? Down deep, you want to do that for because you want a professional to come in and help you with your music career. Someone that has all access and contacts and have done this a million times and have experience launching careers. Um, the only thing there is when you work with a record labels that they're going to take a huge portion of what you earn. Whereas a music mentor, you hire for guidance, they guide you through it. And when you become successful and as you become successful, you are earning all the money that you should be earning and not giving up a huge portion of it to somebody else. You know, yeah, you have to pay them a certain amount of money to work with them, but you know, 
it's like getting guitar lessons or any other kind of lesson. It's just, you know, you're getting professional business coaching lessons, um, on, you know, that help you with your career. Totally worth it. You know, especially if, you know, even if you're not making money right away, the simple fact of the amount of money that can save you from making mistakes is worth it in my mind. Yep. Great points. I love your thing about writing a song. It's like, yeah, you get that, you get that melodic line stuck and you just can't, you can't stray from it until somebody else, you know, it's always nice to like show a song to somebody. They can be like, what about this? And you're like, I would never have gotten there. Yeah. And before we stray too far from it, when TJ gives recommendations for vacation, listen, he does great things. My time in Paris was amazing because he had some really good suggestions yeah. and I read all of them and they were worth it. So they're all, they're that. all, that's all my wife. <laughs> that has nothing. I have nothing to do with it. <laughs> all right. So anyway, that's going to be our show for today. Um, thank you for everyone that attended. Um, and in the meantime, everyone have a great day and remember that we are always here for you. Should you need help with your music career? Thanks again. Bye guys. Thanks for watching. If you're looking for expert help with your music career, schedule a call with us today, or you can enroll in one of our free artist development programs. The link for both can be found in the description below. And please don't forget to subscribe. Your support really matters and we appreciate any help that you can give to the work that we do. Have a great day.